All right, we made it. That was about uh, five and a half hours, I guess. So here's their little water station, as you, just as you come in the park. And we're gonna fill the trailer up with, uh, with water. Let her go. So this is the uh, first time we've been to this park before. Thought we'd try something different. Uh, as we always do, we don't always uh, able to get into a lot of these parks, um, but we do try every year to find new ones to go to, something new for us, something new for you to watch. So it's all good. So let's check out the, uh, they got rigged up here for the water. That's a little different what we've seen in the past. Usually they're on the post here, but they got it hooked up onto the hose, so kind of cool. Water's going a bit slow, but it's all good. All right, we are all settled in here on site 77. Uh, it's a pretty good site, actually. I'll do a review, as I always do later on in the video, but uh, we are getting ready for a crazy storm coming in, apparently, so... 100 kilometer an hour winds, so this is kind of the calm before the storm. So we got the uh, picnic table set up there under the awning until it gets too hairy, and then we'll bring the awning in, obviously. But uh, trying to make the best out of what's happening or going to be happening here. So let's see how we make out. All right, so that storm never happened, at least the uh, crazy wind thunderstorm. So that's awesome. Uh, we're happy about that. Uh, finished up dinner and we are just sitting around the fire. It's got a fire going. Beauty. Gabby's chilling. So yeah, we're gonna have a nice night. Hopefully, uh, apparently later tonight it's supposed to come. Another storm is supposed to come in, but that's all good. So um, yeah, we're enjoying the park so far. We went um, into Hawkesbury today. Right, Hawkesbury, yeah. I went into Hawkesbury today and um, just tooled around there a little bit. Found out where there's some groceries. It's about 10 minutes away, so that's uh, super handy if you're ever out at this park. Um, they have everything in Hawkesbury that you could imagine that you'd ever want, I would think, for necessities. So um, we're going to be heading there later in the week um, to grab some more food and um, stuff like that. So, yep, it's perfect. All right, we're just doing a bit of a tour of the park. So this park is uh, 3,600 acres. So it's massive. Um, obviously, it's not a, that many big sites, but um, there's uh, we're in Champlain and Iroquois and Portage sections of the park. Um, we just went through there. So there are some uh, trailer sites, which are really big actually and uh, lots of tenting so we're just trying to find the dog beach but this clearly isn't the beach but i thought i'd give you a little view of uh the lake here it's a bit of a boat launch here actually so a little dock pretty nice but if you're coming to this park at all you might want to well definitely bring a bike bicycle and um, there's lots of driving like you got to drive around it it's really big so I don't think you'd want to get out and do a walk all right our hunt for the dog beach continues all right so we think we found the dog beach so basically um, it's in the Iroquois section of the park and the Iroquois section of the park is dog free but they put the dog beach in the dog free section. Does that make any sense? All right, we found a hike here in the park. Um, we're gonna do, it's just under two kilometers. Uh, this is the map here. Tells you a little bit about it. So we're gonna uh, see how it is. So dogs are gonna have fun. And you have like, look at these dog signs here. You gotta love it. That's different. Okay, I just want to loop back to um, what I was mentioning earlier about the dog beaches. So we did our homework here to find out, asking after asking a few different uh, employees here at the park. Um, and there's two dog beach areas, um, but you're, they're not allowed on the beach sand. Um, so you have to stay on the grassy area. And obviously they're not allowed in the water. So. If you have dogs and you're coming here, there are two. Um, it does show it on the map. 
So um, that's the scoop on that, which usually um, with other parks we've been to, they'll have designated dog beaches that you can actually just go on the beach part on the sand, but uh, not here. So anyways, that's a bit of a bit of a bummer, but we'll probably head down there at some point and uh, take the dogs with us for that part of it. And also there's uh, 416 campsites here at the park at Voyageur. And there's three different areas, Portage, Champlain, and what's the other one, Heather? Iroquois. Iroquois. So those are the three. So like I said before, it's a big park, huge park. So yeah, it's nice. This trail's nice. I'll give you a little view of it here. This hike is very beautiful through here. Nice and shaded on a hot day and uh, nice little bit of blowing up and down, but nothing too technical. That's for sure. Really nice. We were just saying too that how beautiful all the Ontario parks are that we've been to. We've been to quite a few. So if you're new to camping or just moved to Ontario and haven't been to any of the Ontario parks, definitely worth um, exploring, checking out camping here it's it's fantastic it's definitely worth uh, worth the drive and it's really nice to be able to go to somewhere uh, different uh, it's a new park for us so it's uh, it's sure nice to explore We just went up to the uh, park store. So you, had, you have to drive here for sure because it's a ways away from the uh, Champlain campsite that we're at. So um, they have a restaurant here. You can get food, uh, slushies, and then all your other paraphernalia that you want in the store. And uh, you buy the ice here too, four bucks a bag as of the recording of this video. Who knows if it'll change. But uh, yeah, it's decent. Definitely, uh, definitely well stocked. All right, Friday morning here. It's uh, it's been a good week. Um, quite a bit of rain, but that's okay. Um, so one thing to note uh, about the park is the water, the potable water, tastes like shite. So anyway, uh, bring your own water. Um, if you uh, want to drink it, I don't know how many of you drink the potable water. Usually it's not too bad, but. Um, there's even signs when you come in this park about uh, it's high in sodium levels so just uh, something to take note of if, uh, if you're ever coming here to this uh, provincial park so but yeah so now we're gonna um, jump in the truck and head and get some groceries so in Hawkesbury there's an independent grocery store there um, so we're gonna go in there and get some more food and uh, yeah we'll see what uh, see what's going on in Hawkesbury Just sitting here waiting for Heather to come out from the uh, independent grocers. So in Hawkesbury, um, there's a lot here. There's a Walmart, LCBO, Canadian Tire, um, the list goes on. So it's right on uh, the main, everything's right on the main road on Highway 17. So basically when you leave the park, you get on the 417 West, which is right there. And as soon as you come out of, out of the park, the on-ramp's right there. And it's about maybe a 10 minute drive here. So yeah, 417 to 17. And then uh, you pull right into all the amenities you want. There's McDonald's, everything. So nice and close if you're uh, if you're up here for an extended stay. All right, Saturday morning, we are going to head out. Um, we're gonna try and find a farmer's market in Van Cleek. So it's about 20 minutes from here. So just look for things to do. Um, 
you know, after you've been here for almost a week, it's uh, you've kind of done everything in the park. So generally, we try and find um, some local craft uh, breweries um, in the areas, uh, some of the small towns. But um, today, we're going to go uh, check out this uh, farmers market. All right, we went by the uh, farmers market, and um, it was uh, pretty much a bust. So. Didn't get anything, couldn't go in there um, with the camera because it's uh, very small and uh, didn't want to intrude on people's privacy. So we just found a little uh, pizza place to stop at here on the side of the road. Okay, so behind me is uh, Sarah Cole Cider. It's a little uh, cider shop here. And um, they have the uh, wood burning pizzas. So we just grabbed ourselves uh, pizza, it's just being made right now. So we'll uh, probably have a little tailgate here in the parking lot. All right, we just stopped. Uh... That was an awesome pizza that we just had. Um, really cool spot on the side of the road. That was mint. And uh, just down the road from that was Bo's uh, Brewery, which is uh, really popular in Ontario. So we stopped in there. I uh, actually went in myself and grabbed a couple things. We grabbed a couple uh, single cans to try them out. Um, we've had it before, uh, but not this particular brand that we grabbed. So um, yeah, grabbed a shirt and, and something else. But uh, couldn't really record there because there was uh, music going and couldn't get hit with the copyright, uh, obviously with uh, YouTube. But um, now we just stopped in at a, a vineyard in Van Cleek Hill. Um, that's also just randomly popped up. So Heather's in there now. We're going to uh, grab a bottle of vino and um, try out some uh, local vineyard here. Well, here's like, a really nice uh, sitting area uh, outside the, uh, the vineyard. You can see... The grapes going in behind there and somewhere to sit and eat have a glass of wine on this beautiful day and here's the main building to go in really nice uh, finding some of these little pop-up spots in some of the small towns we travel to when we're out camping we always like to do some exploring and uh, find new things it's a lot of fun all right we are out of here um, we just spent a week at Voyageur Provincial Park and um, great time highly recommend it um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel hit that subscribe button it really helps out our channel and smash that like button as well that definitely helps us out we would totally appreciate that so thanks for that and um, as always I will give you uh, my uh, opinion of the site that we stayed on we stayed on site 77 in the Champlain uh, area of uh, Voyageur Park so give you the site review here okay I'm standing on the road um, again our trailer is 30 feet those of you have not uh, come follow us before or heard that speech so this is an up to 32 foot uh, trailer size for the site so it's a really good site um, has good drainage uh, it's level really level for the trailer I only had to put one uh, one support under the wheels there to, to level it off perfectly. I was being fussy at that, to be honest with you. Um, has a water access, which is really nice. Um, can't swim there, but you can go down there and have a look-see anyways. So yeah, it's um, it's a good site, perfect for the dogs. If you have dogs, I'm just gonna take you around to the back side of the site. Fire pit's decent. And the back side of the site here, as you can see, there is a trail that goes into just a different area of the park there, um, which is kind of nice to walk through. It's not, it's not huge, but um, it's decent. And as you can see, there's trees all around you. And also there's lots of space between the sites we found in this park. So there's, you're not really on top of each other on the side to side great so thanks for watching and we'll see you on down the road cheers